Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful, blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day to always give him thanks right now. Another day to always give him the praise right now. Another day to always give him the glory right now. Another day to always magnify and shout out his holy name right now. Another day to say, Jesus, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand what, what's happening right now. But Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I trust you. Father God, I'm still picking up my cross and I'm still going to follow you. Father God, I'm still going to be obedient towards you, even though I don't understand what's happening. Even though God is still looking the same, but I still will be obedient towards you. I still will always praise you in your presence. I will always glorify you. I will always magnify you. I will always exalt your holy name for who you are, what you have done. Father God, you are my everything. You are my rock. You are my refuge. You are my salvation. You are my helper. You are my keeper. You are my everything, Jesus. I don't know where I'd be at right now today, Jesus, if I didn't have you. Father God, I'd be going crazy right now if I didn't have you in my life. Father God, I won't understand what's happening right now if I didn't count on you, if I didn't depend on you, if I didn't rely on you. Jesus, I need more of you right now today. I need less of me. Father God, I need more of your words. Father God, I need more of your promises. Father God, I am hungry for you. Father God, I am thirsty for you to the point that I'm making right now. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. Because the God we serve, glory, hallelujah, he is still on the throne. And he is still performing miracles. And he is still performing wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. He is still in the taking care of people business. He is still in the answering people prayers business. He is still delivering people. He is still driving people out of darkness right now today. He is king of kings and he is lord of lords in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah who he is, Jehovah everlasting. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we thank you the way we do. That's why we praise you the way we do. That's why we glorify your holy name the way we do, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, come before you humbly and peacefully right now today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this opportunity right now. I thank you for this chance of a lifetime. I thank you, Father God, that you allow myself, my brothers, and my sisters to come together right now today to fellowship in your house with you today, Jesus. To praise your name in your house today, Jesus. To glorify your name in your house today, Jesus. And also to exalt your holy name in your house right now today, Jesus. Father God, there's no place I'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here, glory, hallelujah, in your house to thank you, to praise you, to worship you, and to shout out your holy name for who you are and what you have done. Father God, you are still right here beside us, God. Father God, you still hold on to our hands, and God, we still hold on to your unchangeable hands right now. Father God, even though we don't understand your, your, your plan, but God, we're still walking by faith and not by sight, God. Oh God, we just thank you, Father God. Father God, your house is a house of prayer and praise. And God, right now, that's what is exactly what we are doing. We are praying in your house. We have been praise in your house. We have been service in your house. We have been fellowship in your house. We are magnified. We are glorified. We are exalting your holy name in your house. Father God, that house that you built on solid ground, on solid foundation, that house that cannot be moved, that house that cannot be shaken, and that house cannot be bothered, Father God. Father God, your word also tells us in the book of Matthew, verse 18 and 19, where two or more gather in your name, hallelujah, that you are in the midst of things. So, Father God, I know that you're in the midst of our homes right now. I know that you're in the midst of our television sets right now, our telephones right now, our laptops right now, our desktops right now, our iPad right now, or whatever gadget we have, or whatever gadget we use, and Father God, I know that you're in the midst of it. Oh, Father God, we're so thankful right now today to be right here in your presence, God. Father God, you know every last one I needs. Father God, you know every last one I concerns. And God, we know that you're going to come through. We know that you're going to provide. 
Father God, we are being patient, God, and we're waiting and we are sitting still on you, God, because, God, everything is in your hands, God. You are still in control and you are still in charge. I rebuke every demonic stronghold lying spirit that came across my brothers and my sisters in their life today, in their finances today, in their health today, in their dreams today, in their marriage today. She'll be destroyed, terminated, and she'll die by the fire of Jesus' name right now today. Father God, we cast all our problems, all our anxieties on you right now today, Jesus. Because, Father God, your word tells us in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, that nobody cares for us more than you but you, Jesus. Father God, we're here today to let you know that we are available for praise, that we are available for service, that we are available for the kingdom, that we are available to serve and honor and magnify you, that we are available for our assignment, that we are available for our mission, and that we are available for our task. Oh God, we're so thankful, we're so grateful, and so honor and so blessed and so moved to be right here in your house today, God. Oh, God, we know that we're in comfort right now. We know we're in the right place. And we know, Father God, that you're about to show up. We know that you're about to show out. Father God, allow your spirit to move through us right now. Father God, do a new thing in my sisters right now. Father God, you do a new thing in my brothers right now. Holy Spirit, I need you to intercede right now in this place. Holy Spirit, I need you to move in this place. Holy Spirit, I need you to touch my brothers and my sisters in this place. Holy Spirit, I need you to remove the fish scales from their eyes and the earplugs from their ears so they can see and hear right now. Holy Spirit, we counting on you. We depending on you right now today, God. Father God, this is your time. This is your moment. And Father God, we here to thank and praise you in your house. We thank you for this word that we better receive. We thank you for this powerful message, God, that we better take with us, God. Father God, we came in for a reason today. We came in for a purpose today. And God said, we ain't leaving your house. I said, God, we ain't leaving your house until we leave here full and satisfied. In Jesus' holy mighty name. Let the church come together to say amen and amen. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good and he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm here today to repent of our sins right now because, yes, we dropped the ball today. Yes, we even made some mistakes today. Yes, we are not perfect at all. You know exactly what we did. So you know what you did. It's time for you to man up about it. It's time for you to warm up about it because Jesus already knew what we did before we did it. And one thing I know about Jesus, he likes and respects us to be honest and keep it real with him because he keep it real with us and he is honest with us. So I'm here today on the behalf of myself, my brothers, and my sisters. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for every anything, God, we done wrong in the sight of your eyes. Father God, please forgive me and my brothers and my sisters for every anything, God, we done wrong, God, that was not set right in your heart today. Please forgive me, my brothers, my sisters, for every anything, God, that we participated in our mind, God, that was not part of your Father's will. Purify us right now. Clean us up as white as snow right now today, Jesus. Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiveness for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for hearing us out. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. Thank you, Father God, for cleaning us up. Thank you, Father God, for not remembering anymore. Thank you for the second chance, and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I came not think enough for this word right now. I came not think enough for this anointing message right now. I just came not think enough, Father God, for the air that we was able to breathe right now today. I just came not think enough, Father God, for your grace and your mercy, our help and our strength. I came not think enough, Father God, for the food that you have blessed and prepared to put on our table, the clothing and shoes that you have put on our back. I just came not think enough, Father God, for your words. I came not think enough, Father God, for your promises. I just came not think enough, Father God, because you are a man that you should not lie, that you stand in your words, you stand in your promises. I just came not think enough, Father God, that we can always call, count, and depend rely on your holy name. I just came not think enough, Father God, because you are on time, God. You are amazing, God. You are faithful, God. You are loving, God. You are giving, God. You are outstanding, wonderful, God. I just came not think enough, Father God, for the angels that is joining us in praise and worship right now. I just can't thank the Father God for the Holy Spirit that is moving through us right now today. 
I just can't think of Father God how you how you moving mountains right now on our behalf and we won't even see it right now and we won't even realize it right now. I just can't think of Father God for our blessing right now. I can't think of Father God for our breakthrough right now. I can't think of Father God for our anointing right now. I can't think of Father God for our deliverance right now. I can't think of Father God for our double portion right now. I can't think of for our more than enough right now. I can't think of for the open doors. I can't think of for the door to have closed. I can't think of for the opportunity. I can't think of Father God for the rain that's coming. I can't think of for the connection. I can't think of for the resources. I can't think of for the help. I just can't think of Father God because you will come through. God, you will provide. Father God, I just can't think of Father God that you're about to show up and show out right now. I just can't think of Father God for a harvest that you're about to reap this year in the mighty name of Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough Jesus 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 I just can't thank you enough that's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough that's why I worship you the way I do because I can't thank you enough that's why I pour my heart out to you every day Jesus because I can't thank you enough that's why I'm in love with you the way I am Jesus because I can't thank you enough that's why I just glorify you and I just shout out your holy name Jesus I'm in love with you, Jesus, because I just can't thank you enough. 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 Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen, but let Jesus know that you can't thank him enough. And I hope that y'all ready for this word because this word is for somebody right now today. And we're going to read from three Bible scriptures today. We're going to read from um, Psalms 25, Psalms 91, and Isaiah 41. And I believe that God is going to talk to somebody today. And cause right now, some of us right now today, we, we in the process of trying to pay back, pay back someone who did us wrong. God is telling me to tell you right now today, as long as you're in his hand, that you're going to be okay. I need you to understand that right now today, my sisters. I need you to understand that right now today, my brothers. As long as you're in his hands, you're okay. He already know who put their mouth on you. And the word of God always says, do not touch my anointing. Do not do them any harm. God already know who has been sabotaging you. He already know who's been talking filthy about you. He already know who's been running. Who already, he already knows who, who, who's been running your name through the dirt. He already know who's been running your, thing, running your name through the mud. But one thing they don't realize, they in trouble with the wrong person. They put their mouth on the wrong son. They put their mouth on the wrong daughter. They don't even realize they got a price to pay, my brothers and my sisters. And what God has done, they're going to wish they would never put their mouth on you. And I want to start from the first one. Matter of fact, we're going to force um, scriptures. I want to read uh, in Genesis first. I want to read Genesis first. Genesis 4. Verse um, 10. Genesis um, 4, verse 10. And we're going to read verses 10 through 14. That's Genesis 4. We're going to read verses 10 through 14. Then we're going to go to Psalms 25. Then we're going to go to Psalms 91. And we're going to finish off at Isaiah 41. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. The Lord said, what have you done? Listen. Your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse. I'm going to stop right there. The Lord said, what have you done? What have you done? Listen, your brothers. God said, my son, my daughter's blood cry out mm, to me from the ground. And what God is saying, God said, God said, I've heard other people bad mouth my son. 
I have heard other people bad mouth my daughters. And he said, I heard it crying out for me from the ground. So if God can hear somebody bad mouthing his sons and his daughters from the ground, God said, you don't know how powerful that is when I can hear it cry out because I, I can just imagine how that how my son's feeling right now. He said, I can just imagine how my sister, my daughters are feeling right now because they didn't do they didn't do you no harm. They didn't do you no wrong. But you're around here bad mouthing other people for no apparent reason. And you don't even realize you have mouth the wrong person. So when God said he can hear it from the ground, that means he has attentive ears. That means he can hear what you are saying when you are whispering about his sons and his daughters. So now you are under a curse right now. God said, don't worry about it, my brothers. Don't worry about it, my sisters. He said, I heard them what they said about you. I wasn't deaf. I heard them run your name through the ground. And I heard it through the ground. Because I heard Joe cry. Because I know how you felt. How they bad mouthed you. How they spread their lies about you. How they spread their rumors about you. How they deceived your name. Discredited your name. He said, I heard it. But God said, I heard it from the ground. That means he heard it from the ground. So it, it rose up and he heard it. God said he heard things they said about you that you don't even know what they said about you. If he was to tell you what they said, you would cry even more. But God said, don't worry about it. Vengeance is his. God said, just leave him a little bit of room. He's going to take care of that problem for you. All you got to do is sit still and know that he is God. Some people right now today don't even realize they put their mouth on the wrong brother. They put their mouth on the wrong sister and they don't know they're in deep trouble right now. You don't mess up, my brothers. You don't mess up, my sisters. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but somebody should be shaking right now because when you have messed with God's child, you know that you're in deep trouble right now. You're in deep trouble. Amen. Amen. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its what? Its mouth to receive your brother's blood. See, they mouth. God said they put their mouth on the wrong brother. They put their mouth on the wrong sister. Do you see what God is telling somebody right now today? Mm. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wandering on earth. Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is more than I can what? I can bear. Cain said he couldn't take the pain no more. And that's what some, that was God is telling you right now today. For the ones who put their mouth on their son and their daughter. The one who bad mouthed his son and daughter. The one who discredited his sons and his daughter's name. The one who deceived his sons and his daughter's name. The one who ran his sons and his daughter's name through the ground, through the mud. You're going to be just like Cain. The punishment. It's going to be more than what you can bear. Because you didn't think about how you was discrediting their name. You didn't think about how you were destroying their name. You didn't think about how you run their name through the ground. You didn't think about when you put your mouth on him. You didn't think about when you put your mouth on her, how they was going to feel about it. So when God put his wrath on you, you ain't going to be able to handle the pain. You ain't going to be able to handle the suffering. You ain't going to be able to handle what God is about to do on you. Because right now, a lot of you, you have a curse on you. Because you put your mouth on the wrong person. You bad mouth the wrong person. God is telling me to tell somebody right now today. You put your mouth on the wrong person. And he heard everything you said about his sons and his daughters from the ground. As long as you're in God's hand, God going to deal with the person who bad mouthed you. All you got to do is sit back. I know it's making you feel a certain way. I know that you want to pay him back because it is the human nature in us. But I'm telling you, from what my God is telling me to tell you right now today, as long as you're in his hand, you okay. Let God deal with the people who bad mouth you. Didn't God deal with Cain when he bad mouth his brother Abel? Didn't God put punishment on him? Didn't God put a curse on Cain? So if God did it to Cain, he's going to do it to them too. Abel was in God's hands. You are in God's hands, my brothers. You are in God's hands, my sisters. He already know who been bad mapping you. He already know who been discrediting your name. 
He already knew trying to destroy your name. He already knew trying to sabotage your name. He already knew who's running, running your name up under the school bus. He already know. Because he heard it from the ground up. Amen. Amen. So let's turn our Bibles to Psalms 25. And we're going to read verse 3. Psalms 25, verse 3. If you have it, let the church say amen. Hallelujah. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O oh my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame, but they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. So God is telling you again, as long as you're in his hands, that he will never, never allow your enemies to put you to shame. That he is giving his word. That he is giving you his promises. That he will put every last person that discredited your name, sabotage your name, try to destroy your name, who try to manipulate your name. He is giving you his word that he will put them to shame. Because right now, as humans, we saying, God, please don't let this happen to us. God, we didn't do anything wrong. It's not our fault. God says, sit still and know that I'm God. I got this. You are in my hands. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to shield you. All you got to do is sit still and know that I am God. I'm not going to let this happen. You can count on that. You can depend on that. And you can rely on that. I'm giving you my word right now. You ain't got to pay that brother back for what he said about you. You ain't got to pay that sister back for what she said about you. You ain't got to pay them in-laws back what they said about you. You ain't got to pay your family members back what they said about you. You ain't got to pay the people at the church what they said about you. You ain't got to pay the people back what they said about you at the job said about you. You ain't got to pay them back because God said, I'm going to handle that. I'm going to handle for them. I'm going to handle those who put their mouth on you. I'm going to handle those who try to ashamed you. I'm going to handle those who try to discredit you, who try to deceive you, and who try to sabotage you. I'm going to handle them. God said, all I need is a little bit of room. The way he said, leave me a little bit of room. Vengeance is his. Vengeance don't belong to us. The battle don't belong to us. It belongs to Jesus. Let Jesus do what he knows to do best. Then he do it to Cain. Yes, he did. Cain said, I can't take this punishment no more. And what do you think God is saying? The same thing that Cain said is the same thing that brother is going to say. It's the same thing that that sister is going to say. It's the same thing that their in-law is going to say. It's the same thing that their family member is going to say. It's the same thing that their so-called friend is going to say. It's the same thing that their co-worker is going to say. It's the same thing that people at the church is going to say. God is going to handle them. You're in the right hand. I know that? Psalms 91 tell us this. Keep please turn your Bible to Psalms 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from whom the foulest snare and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. And under his wing, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and your rampart. You will not fear the terror or night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come what? Near you. Reason why I ain't gonna come near you because you're in the you're in the palm of his hands. Tell somebody right now today, as long I'm in God's hand, I'm gonna be okay. I need you to tell yourself this right now today. As long as I am in Jesus' hand, I'm gonna be okay. It doesn't matter how they came at me. It doesn't matter how they try to destroy my name or discredit my name or deceive my name, how bad they talked about me, how they try to drive my name through the dirt, how they try to drive my name through the mud, as long, hallelujah, I am in Jesus' hand, I'm going to be okay. 
You need to tell yourself that right now today. Tell yourself, I'm going to be okay. I don't know how God is going to do it. But as long as I'm in his hand, I'm okay. They should get somebody a peace of mind right there. Somebody should give God some praise just for that. Because no matter what I go through, my brothers and sisters, no matter what I face, it doesn't matter how bad somebody try to talk about me, how they try to sabotage my name, discredit my name. As long as I'm in Jesus' hand, I'm okay. I'm not going to tell you it don't bother me from time to time because it does. Because I'm only human, but I know I'm in God's hand. And I know as long as I'm in his hand, I'm okay. And I know what they try to do to me, God is going to handle them. I know how they try to do the spread of my name. God is going to handle them. The way how they ran my name through the dirt, the way they ran my name through the mud, God is going to handle them. I don't have to sit there and fight the battle. I don't have to go mouth for mouth back to them. I don't have to have word for word for them. As long I'm in Jesus' hand, I'm okay. Because I know at the end of the day, glory, hallelujah, I know who's going to fight my battles. I know who's going to stand my ground. I know who's going to watch over me. I know who's going to protect me. I know who's going to shield me. I know who is never going to allow nothing to hurt me or to shame me because the word of God said he would never, ever, ever, glory, hallelujah, allow the enemy to shame me. That he will never allow the enemy to shame you, my brothers and my sisters. That he will shame them. He's giving you his word. He's giving you his promises. So all you got to do is say, I know that I'm okay. Hallelujah. As long I'm in his hands. Somebody right now today, you're paying the price right now today. And the reason why you're paying that price is because you put your mouth on the wrong person. You discredit the wrong person. And you wonder why things are not going well in your life. You wonder why you're going from job to job. You wonder why you're not receiving blessings. You wonder why things are not going right in your life. It's because you know what you did. You ran somebody's name through the dirt. You ran somebody's name through the ground. You ran somebody's name through the mud. You discredited somebody's name. You was a fool and you gathered other fools to talk about that brother. You was a fool and you gathered other fools to talk bad about their sisters. Now you are looking like the fool right now because the word of God said that he will handle you. You see what he did to Cain? Cain said, this punishment is too, is too much for him. And that was somebody saying right now today, God, this pain too much for me. God, this punishment too much for me. But God said, he's not going to stop. He's not going to let up because you never stop. You never let up when you were discrediting his son's name. You never stop and you never let up when you were discrediting his daughter's name. It was all fun and game to you. It was all ha ha and he he when you were just talking bad about him and her. You didn't have no remorse on how you how that brother's going to feel. You had no remorse how that sister's going to feel. You thought everything was was good so now you gotta face the wrath of God right now somebody is facing the wrath of God right now and it don't feel good it don't feel good to them but they ain't never took the time out to see how you felt when they did your name like that they didn't take the time out how they ran your name through the dirt how they ran your name through the mud had it discredited your name. Got people looking at your name all funny. Like you did something. And the whole time you didn't do nothing. They didn't take the time out. They see how you's going to feel about it. So when God heard your name through the ground. He said oh my son my daughter don't worry about it. I know what they said. He said I heard your name through the ground. He said it made him cry. So if anything made God cry. How they talked about your name. You know right then and there they was in trouble. But see, that's one thing about a fool. A fool don't know they're in trouble until it's too late. Right now, the fools know they don't messed up. Now they're asking God to stop. Now they're asking God to quit. But he's not going to stop. He's not going to quit until he says that he had enough. It doesn't matter how Cain was begging. God didn't stop the pain. And God did not remove the curse from Cain at all. Right now, a lot of them right now today, they're up under curse right now. They don't even realize it. They put the curse on themselves when they try to curse your name. Amen? Amen. So keep please turn your Bibles to Isaiah 41. And we're going to read verse 11. That's Isaiah 41. And we're going to read verse 11. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed in this race, those who oppose you 
will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God, who what? Who takes hold of your right hand mm -mm -mm. and says, do not fear. Look what he's giving you. He said, for I'm the Lord your God who takes what? Hold of your right hand. Like I said, like I said before in Psalms 91, as long as you're in his hand, you're okay. Because he's always going to hold your right hand. He says, son, my daughter, I got you. I'm not going to let nothing or anyone going to hurt you. I know what they did to you. I know it made you feel a, a certain way. But I'm telling you right now, I got you. I'm not going to fail you. I'm not going to disappoint you. I'm not going to break your heart. And I'm not going to let you down. I got you. He said, all who rages against you mm, will surely. He ain't say, here, think about it. He ain't say, it might happen. He said, surely will be ashamed in this race. What they did, they put their mouth on the wrong person. And right now, God is ashamed of those who try to shame you. Right now, God is disgracing those who try to disgrace your name. Like your name didn't mean nothing. God is handling them. He said, as long as you're in his hands, let God handle those who put their mouth on you. And God knows who put their mouth on you. They put their mouth on the wrong child of God. They put their mouth on the wrong anointed child of God. So now they got to face the pain. Now they got to face the wrath. Now they're up under curse. Now they're being ashamed. Now they're being disgraced for what they did to you. They didn't know that God was listening. They didn't know that God can hear things from the ground. They didn't know that God hears everything because he's always aware of everything. He's always around every last one of us around us. So he know what's happening. He know what's going on. He wasn't born last night and he wasn't born at night. God was been born thousands and thousands years ago. So this ain't nothing new to him. He know how you feeling right now, my brothers. He know how you feeling right now today, my sister. My point I'm making to somebody right now today. Just sit back and sit still and know that God is your God who will go before you, who will stand for you, and will always hold your right hand. I see the enemies right now being ashamed right now. They're being disgraced right now. They're under a curse right now. Right now they're telling Jesus to stop. But Jesus is telling me to tell you right now today, he ain't playing no stopping and he ain't playing no slowing down. Because they didn't stop, they didn't plan no slowing down when they discredited your name. God said, long that you in his hands. You're going to be okay. I'm going to handle those who put their mouth on you. I don't know who this word for today, but if you know that God is talking about you, you need to give God some thanks and praise and glory in the house of the Lord right now today. Could you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help. Prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer. I just ask y'all guys continue to keep me in prayer. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Amen.